Dear brothers and sisters, a person finds pride only by turning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And a person finds true self-worth and security only by turning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu said in the famous statement when he entered into Al-Quds, نَحْنُ قَوْمٌ أَعَزَّنَ اللَّهُ بِالْإِسْلَامِ وَإِنْ أَبْتَغَيْنَ الْعِزَّةَ لِغَيْرِهِ أَذَلَّنَ اللَّهُ We are a people who Allah gave dignity to through Islam. And that statement has so many dimensions. If we seek it through anything else, we will only be humiliated. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will only cause us to be amongst those who are humiliated. Whether it is for your emotional needs or your physical needs, Try turning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala consistently or else you will feel the heat of this life because that's how we're programmed. وَمَنْ أَعْرَضَ عَنْ ذِكْرِ فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً ضَنْكَ Whoever turns away from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a constricted life. Life is going to suffocate you. Your job, your relationships, everything is going to feel suffocating because you're eventually going to run out of people to call upon. And eventually the person that you keep on calling, even though he might love you and he might respect you and he might you know, have your best interests at heart. Eventually when you keep calling and he keeps p- picking up the cell phone or she keeps p- picking up the cell phone and seeing that same name, they're going to start making excuses. You know, put, putting out the paper bag and go, Whoosh, I'm busy, I'm in a halaqa. They might even start lying to say, I don't want to talk to you right now. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who's both capable and willing to help you at any time. And think about this, and Imam Al-Qayyim rahimahullah says, and I'll end with this. In this life, you'll find someone who's capable of helping you, but he won't be willing to help you. Right? There are people that are multi, multi, multi millionaires, and I don't care what kind of financial hardship you're going, going through. You could go to that person, if they wrote you a check, it wouldn't affect them much. They wrote you a check, they could take care of you for the next 10 years. You never have to worry about your financial troubles again, but they're not willing to help you. And there are some people that are always willing to help you, but they're not capable of helping you, right? Your mother loves you. Your mother wants you to be a rich person. Your mother wants you to have everything in life. Your mother wants you to be the president, to be this and to be that. But she won't be capable of giving it to you. But Allah is both willing and capable at all times. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, unlike people who get upset when you keep on calling them, مَن لَا يَسْأَلِ اللَّهِ يَلْضَبُ عَلَيْهِ The Prophet ﷺ says, whoever doesn't ask Allah, Allah becomes angry with him for not, asking, for not asking of him. So develop that relationship, strengthen that relationship, direct your concerns towards him, and know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make, make a way out for you. As Imam al-Shafi rahimahullah says, إِنَّ الْوُقُوفَ عَلَى الْأَبْوَابِ حِرْمَانُ To stand at the doors of people is a way of forbidding yourself. Right? It's a way of depriving yourself. And he says, rahimahullah ta'ala, إِنَّ الْوُقُوفَ عَلَى الْأَبْوَابِ حِرْمَانُ وَالْعَجْزُ أَنْ يَرْجُوَ الْإِنسَانُ إِنسَانًا And disability and laziness and incapability is that a human being needs another human being. فَمَتَى تُؤَمِّنُ مَخْلُوقًا وَتَقْصُدَهُ So when do you put all of your hope and all of your trust into another created being and expect that he's going to get you out of your situation? إِنْ كَانَ عِنْدَكَ بِالرَّحْمَانِ إِيمَانُ When you have iman and ar-Rahman subhanahu wa ta'ala فَثِقْ بِالَّذِي يُعْطِي ذَا وَيَمْنَعُ ذَا So then put your trust in the one who gives to this one and he forbids this person because at the end of the day وَفِي كُلِّ يَوْمٍ هُوَ فِي شَانُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is planning our day. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's qadr is precise and daily. And, 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 and as he said رحمه الله ta'ala that whoever has Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sufficient for him.